Hello and welcome to a new episode of Review. Today we will take a closer look at a British Airways Airbus A318 and as always we start off with the box and here we can see we have the British Airways branding and then we have the cutout so we can get a glimpse of the aircraft inside. Now on the back side of the box we have a very nice image of the aircraft. We have the original dimensions of the aircraft and some additional information. And that's it for the box, let's take a closer look inside. And here she is, the Airbus A318 in the current colors of British Airways. Now, this is a very special aircraft. British Airways does only operate two of the A318s, and they do so exclusively from the London City Airport and only to John F. Kennedy International Airport in New York. Now, these aircraft fly from London City Airport, make a stopover in Shannon Airport in Ireland for refueling and the US Customs and Immigrations and then directly to John F. Kennedy. On its way back, however, it can make a direct flight due to the wind directions. Now, this service was introduced by British Airways after they ceased operations with the Concorde, and that's the BA-1 to BA-4 flights. And as the service is mainly aimed for business travelers, it is no surprise that the cabin is an exclusive business class cabin with 32 seats only. But enough about that, let's take a closer look at the aircraft itself and before we do that it's worth mentioning that this aircraft model comes with this piece of cardboard with an apron position printed on. If we then move to the back of the aircraft, we can see on the vertical stabilizer here on the top, we have the last two letters of the registration code. We do, of course, also have the British Airways branding. Then on the fuselage, we have the full registration code and the British Royal Mail branding. If we then move from the back of the aircraft to the front of the aircraft, we can see along the fuselage the writing of British Airways. We do also have the British Airways branding once more and the One World logo as British Airways is a founding member of One World. If we then take a look just above the cockpit windows, we can see here also we have the last two letters of the registration code once more. Then we have just above the wings, we can see here on the fuselage, also the emergency exit. And if we then take a look at the wings themselves here on the top side, some very nice details. And also on the underside, not too bad, including, of course, the full registration code of the aircraft once more. And then last but not least, we do, of course, also have the doors to the cargo compartment as we can see them right here. So, if you are looking for a little cute Airbus A318 with a nice interesting story behind it, then this is definitely one you can go for, in my honest opinion at least. Now, as we are getting close to Christmas, yes, Christmas period is getting close, um, I'm keeping up with a little tradition I have. Now, I do upload every Wednesday, as you probably already know, but during the Christmas period, I will also be uploading on Sundays, and that will start from this Sunday and then up to Christmas. So, from now on, and only for the Christmas period, of course, uploads every Wednesday and every Sunday. With that, we have reached the end of today's episode. Now, if you have enjoyed, feel free to leave a like, or if you're new around here, why not hit subscribe? That would be absolutely awesome. And don't miss out on the next episode of Review, where we will take a closer look at a Boeing 7878 in the colors of Avianca. And with that, I would like to say thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you soon again. I'm checking out, and bye.